My name is Yvonne Verbert, and I'm from Hilo, Hawaii. Um, my name is often misspelled, too, so I can feel for the lady who said her name is misspelled all the time. Um, I'm a re retired chemist, and my retirement job is I'm a substitute teacher at Hilo Union Elementary, mostly for special ed. I am a TMT supporter. I also believe that Mauna Kea is sacred. My biggest concern is the safety of all involved. The civilians, the construction workers, the pro protectors, while the transport and construction takes place. No one wants expressing opinions to be dangerous for the workers or anyone else. I trust the local officials will respond to conditions accordingly. That includes, of course, the responsibility to enforce the law and protect everyone's safety. Thank you. Mahalo for your testimony. Hi, um, I'm Lucas Kambik. Um, I'm a biologist at UH Hilo, uh, but I'm, I'm here speaking for myself. Um, I, I can't speak to the minutia of the finance law and, and what's, what's the most appropriate in this situation as, as far as funding uh, law enforcement, but uh, it seems that the real question today is whether the institutional will exists to enforce the law, uh, to enforce what courts and elected officials have found to be just. Um, quite simply, obstructing roads is not peaceful protest, and also misleading claims that are designed to spread like wildfire on social media are just not a sound basis for policy making. And despite their fierce passion, I do not believe that telescope opponents represent the people of Hawaii, as polls have repeatedly shown. And I don't believe they represent the human spirit of exploration and adventure that brought people on their incredible journeys to these islands. Um, I ask the council, please do what you can, stand up for the law, enforce the law. Thank you. Thank you for your testimony, okay. Mr. Um, yes, I'm just going to go as Rob S. If I could, please. Thank you, Rob is this S. On? This is correct. Yes, okay, it good. Is. Um, Aloha, Council members, and thank you for uh -huh. allowing us to have this time here. Um, I wanted to say a few words on the behalf of the TMT. Um, I'm a community member and a supporter of TMT. What I've written here is just a brief statement, and that is that um, every organized and civil society needs to have a letter of law. Uh, it happens to be that the letter of law that we have in place right now is the state of Hawaii. And, uh, you know, TMT was lawfully granted a construction permit, and after appeals and stall tactics were exhausted by the opponents, the state Supreme Court legally upheld the construction permit. These, these, this is a fact. Um, I want to be clear in stating that the law enforcement is very necessary because of the actions of some of the opponents. Okay. Over the last four years, there have been hundreds of death threats and threats of grave bodily injury directed at TMT employees. This is a fact, and it's scary. There's been, and, and this has been documented. These things have been documented. The death threats have been recorded, documented, and archived. Uh, they're in voicemail boxes. They're on social media. They're, um, they're on video. There's, there's many, many of them. Um, they have been forwarded to uh, the law enforcement community. Um, and um, I think this is part of the reason why we're here today, maybe to speak about the enforcement, the law enforcement. And part of the reason why is because of these, you know, there's, there's fear in the community because of these threats. Um, there have been, um, the protest of uh, April of 2015 was mostly peaceful. The contested case hearing were deemed necessary after that protest. Judge Amano received, needed 24-hour security when she was on island and presided over the contested case hearing. She had received numerous death threats. This is fact. These are things that happen. They can be looked up and they can be, they can be researched and looked up. Okay? They're laughing back there. TMT offices on the island have been under 24-7 security for the last four years. Employees and management personnel have had to have security and sometimes additional security due to some of these threats. Okay? And um, 
what I'm saying here, I'm writing this in here and reading this right off of here, is that um, I'm not making this up. You have 30 seconds. And, okay, thank you very much. I'm not making this up. This is actually true, and this is something that's of real concern and should be of concern to all of us. Um, Mauna Kea is sacred. The astronomy community agrees, we all agree that Mauna Kea is indeed sacred. And we also believe that science and culture can peacefully coexist. Thank you. Thank you very much. And um, we as legislators are very, very bound by following the law and the process. Mm -hmm. And so along with the laws that you cite, I believe in Hawaii, we also have laws that protect the rights of, of the Native Hawaiians to access, gather, and practice. So those are another laws that we as a body have to consider. But that issue is not before us today. And so I just would like you to understand thank that you. we I do have, and I appreciate that. And we I have do, and thank other you. laws and issues that we right. need to. I, okay. I agree. That was basically about law enforcement. Right, okay. right. Thank you thank very much. You. Aloha. Okay. Aloha. Thank you.